Hi, friends. Welcome. Welcome back. We're minus one tonight. Kristen's not feeling well. Kristen, we send you our love. We're sorry you're not here. We're soldiering on without her, but she is very much missed and she will be back next week, guys. So send her a nice thought or a nice message. She would love that. Uh, in the meantime, we have a lot to talk about. We had a video that went up yesterday. Uh, so go check that out. Yesterday was April Fool's Day, of course, and it is a it's a good video. That's all I'll say. Check it out if you haven't already. <laughs> and likes and comments are appreciated. Because he won't say it, but he would actually really like that. <laughs> <laughs> so nice. <laughs> so let's get into it. Let's get to our best new thing. Jody, why don't you go ahead and go first? I have a lot. I have like five. But I'll make That's it awesome. awesome. And you so, had a great week. I did. Um, so last week, Kristen and I were talking about going to our retreat, which we went to. And it was such a fantastic weekend. We saw uh, some people that we had met before that had come to our Stitch Day back right before. Uh, it was like the weekend pre-pandemic. Uh, yeah. We had like the best timing with that last year. <laughs> no, I know. Um, we had a blast. We went to Erie. We stayed in an adorable bed and breakfast. Um, the owner was just divine. She was amazing. Um, they were so accommodating. We sat, we ate, we drank, we stitched, we laughed so hard we cried. And it was <laughs> such an amazing weekend. I have so many whips because we just stitched so much. Like I've never stitched so much in a short amount of time before, ever in my life, ever. Um, and it was amazing. And I got to spend some quality time with Kristen. We drove up together. Um, you know, we hang out together a lot, but being able to just kind of be stuck in a car together for a while is amazing for us. We just chat the whole time and, oh, just such a feel good weekend. So that is my awesome from the week. Um, my other best new thing is this is airing on Friday. It is Stella's birthday today, Friday. Happy birthday, Yay! Stella! She is seven. I can't handle it. I can't handle it. Uh, her day of birth was um, crazy and scary and insane, and so it's it's in it's incredible that we are here seven years later, and she's like a 17 year old. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday to my baby. And then my other thing, um, today I discovered thanks to Tiffany, right? Um, emailed us. I discovered a local LNS. Like <laughs> where did that come from? Because we get all the time if there is an LNS near Pittsburgh. And every time we're like, sorry, dude, there's not. Like, we just don't know of any. Well, guess what? There is. It did not disappoint. I will elaborate when we get to Hall because I bought a shit ton of stuff. <laughs> and I will show you everything I bought. Um, and I'm so excited. So the biggest issue with the place is she doesn't have an online presence. That's why we I, had no idea she even existed. Right. She's hmm. been in business for 35 years. Yee, wow. She is a member of all the ELAs, the embroidery guilds. She that's how she advertises just word of mouth, their newsletters, their um, magazines that came out once a year. She I can't believe, I'll, I'll talk about her more, but I just, I had the most heartwarming best day ever, so. I can't wait to hear more about it. I just can't yeah. wait. So I'll share with you guys when we get there. Um, awesome. Yeah, very excited. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, Erica, you are up. Okay. <laughs> still, still deciding. Oh, no. <laughs> so much. I'm. <laughs> I know. I, I know. Okay. <laughs> One is that I'm. 
pretty sure the baby said, uh-oh, yesterday. And uh -oh. <laughs> he, just, he just kind of went like, uh-uh. And I was like, did you say uh-oh? And he said it again. Mm -hmm. And then he wouldn't say it again. And I tried to take it a video and was like, say it, say it, say it. No. <laughs> But then That's I also the worst. as soon as you pull the camera out and they just go silent, right? you're like, fine, nobody will see how cute you are. <laughs> I asked him to say, tell me what a lion says. And a couple of times, a little while, like a couple of weeks ago, he would go like, ah, like that. And then yesterday when I asked him, he went, ah. <laughs> <I'm> like, oh. <laughs> okay. So he's surprising and delighting us all the time over here. And uh, maybe that's just my best new thing. He's learning new stuff. And oh, my big kid had his, uh, I had a parent teacher conference today and um, heard only wonderful things about how he's doing oh. excellent in reading and math. He's a good friend in the classroom. He's kind, he's helpful. So proud. I was really happy. So yeah. that's great news. Oh, that stuff makes you feel so good. Yeah, absolutely. That's good. Mm -hmm. um, I have a few. So the first one is my mom was supposed to come tomorrow to help us out. And I kind of caught on that something was going on when all morning and last night, my daughter kept going, I can't wait for grandma to come on Friday. Like she was really like big. So I was like, is she coming early? Or I mean, on Thursday, whatever. <laughs> so she, when she showed up today, I was delighted. I cried. But I was also kind of like, yeah, I would have been bummed if you didn't show up because I had it. Now I had the expectation. <laughs> right. But it was a big, that was very big. She's here so I can spring clean, you guys. That's like the most adult reason to have your mom come to watch your kids, right? Mm -hmm. So ridiculous. Yes. So then the other thing is, guess who called me while I was spring cleaning? Brooke. I finally got to catch up with Brooke. Oh, you guys, it made my soul so happy. Uh, she's, she's healing, she's grieving, but she's getting better and she sounded better. She was laughing, which was really nice to hear. And she's, you know, finding her way through it. So we love you, Brooke. We're still thinking about you. Um, but it was just really nice to catch up and, oh, that felt really good. And I'm going to do my last one. Jody's going to join me in this excitement. You guys, I woke up, what was that, two nights ago? I have an email. I've never jumped out of bed faster. Oh, my God, it's DidCon! <laughs> I mean, you guys, I, I jumped up so fast, and my daughter was already in bed with us because she comes in and watches videos, and I was like, oh, my God, can I go? Can I go? Can I go? <laughs> like I was a kid. <laughs> so I'm very delighted to say that if it happens, if it still does, if it doesn't get canceled, um, that Jody and I will be going to StitchCon, and I am very excited. <laughs> so awesome! Watch out, StitchCon, because we are going to be. <laughs> oh my God! Jody was like, "Can we drink wine and hang out?" I'm like, "That's." All we're gonna do. It's been two years since I've been away from my kids. Can we eat all the snacks and drink all the wine and all of it? <laughs> if I don't stick it all, I'm fine as long as I'm there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I've been on that wait list for two years. Like I I've never been so excited to get an email that was a bill in my life. <laughs> I was like, pay, pay now, yeah. pay now. <laughs> it's funny because people are messaging me and they're like, well, what does it even mean? And I'm like, I don't really even know. I've watched some of the videos, but I don't know what to expect except for that everybody will be stitching and sitting together and hanging out. And that's all I care about. You know, I'm so, I'm so excited. Like I was telling this lady today at this shop, the the community that we've come to be a part of has it's so amazing that like people that i genuinely call friends i've never met and like we're gonna meet some of those people and that to me like that makes me want to cry like 
these are people that I talk to on like a very regular basis. It's and so true. Like, we've come to know like the names of their families and their children and their spouses. And like, we're going to get to go meet them. And I just got goosebumps. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And I'm so sorry that I won't be sharing a room with you, Jody. but I'm also real excited to spread out. Listen, we're going to sleep in. There's no alarm. Uh, no children waking us up. Oh, my language. gosh. <laughs> Get it. Get it. It's going to be awesome. I'm I'm very pumped. So those are those are my best new things. Those are some good new things, you guys. Everybody had good stuff. Woo. We're going to go on the hall and I'm going to prep you guys. Jody's got a lot of good stuff to talk about and she's going first. So I got Let's a lot at my retreat and then we got some stuff in the mail and then today happened and it's so much. Was there <laughs> shopping at the retreat or was it just like, oh, no. no? No shopping, but um, so Annette and Shelly, hi ladies, love you. Um, they are the ones that kind of organized everything and got everything together. And um, it was beautiful. Like they took this room and they had like cute little boxes that they made. Everybody got a little homemade box. So this is mine. They made, oh, okay. Cute. box was like a skein of fancy floss, a crocheted coaster, <laughs> floss drops, a scissor <laughs> already on my scissors. Like just so sweet. Like just for showing up. Like I, ugh. they were amazing. So anyways, um, that the, the homemade stuff in there really like just so awesome. And then um, there were some giveaways. And to be totally honest, I'm not sure if the stuff was like donated by people they know. Um, I know that there were some like pretty big Etsy shops that had stuff that we, you know, had for giveaways. Um, so anyway, I won a couple things. Um, Yay! Yeah. Um, <laughs> This is one of the things I won that I wanted to share. This is from the bobbin jar, okay? I love the bobbin jar. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh Jody. Almost fell out of her chair. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Ann owns the bobbin jar and she's so lovely. I love her so much. She's great. Yes. This is the most amazing bag, all right? Look at all of these different fabrics. Say the name of the shop again. What is it? The bobbin jar. Okay, the bobbin jar. Okay. The back. Oh, how sweet is that? It's like quilted. Okay. It's not just like a flat piece of fabric. There's like this adorable fob on the, the zipper that says made with love. It's so well made. This is all like individually sewn together. Oh, is that cute? Um, I was very excited to win this. This was like the one thing on the table that I was like, oh, I see that. Now, is that what her style usually is, Erica? Is like that different quilted look or? She has a lot of that. Um, do you remember the like Christmassy themed project bag I got uh, that had like, I, I don't, I think it's too buried that I can't dig it out, but I got it from Anne. She made it. It was very lovely. Um, she also sells fabric, like quilting cotton, um, oh, different yeah. designers. She also sells sewing patterns. Um, which I have uh, several of her patterns. So she has that a variety of things. That, yeah, I think she has a pattern for that style that just came out. It's but, so, yeah. it's, it's beautiful. So she does great work. Thank you, hey, Anne. Is it Anne? Anne? Okay. Awesome. The bobbin jar. Go check it out. Amazing. It's All cool. right. Then, Erica, I wanted to talk to you about this because a couple of the ladies were stitching with these hoops that I had never seen before. Right. Although I had seen remnants of the hoops cause I had seen them with fabric in them, like in pictures on Instagram and stuff. And I saw them using them and I'm like, what are those? Like, I need to know about this. Have you used these? They're tension hoops. I have not because I couldn't figure out how to make it work for me. Okay. <laughs> so you just like pop this off. All right. Yeah. Oh. So 
it's the concept of a hoop, but there's no screws. And mm -hmm. it's supposed to be easier because you just like squeeze it and it like comes apart. Oh. So I got all excited about it because, you know, I like new tchotchke things. But I got to tell you, I bought them. It doesn't really keep my fabric that tight. It's not, no um, hoop is going to keep your fabric as tight as the snap is. I know. And the thing is, is like when I <laughs> My fabric is tight as a drum. Oh, Ron, you can like hear mine. I can play music on my fabric, and that's yeah. how I. Know. <laughs> that's so how I, I like to stitch. I gave them three different sizes. I gave them to my mom because she likes a hoop, as opposed to a Q snap. The Q snap is like too thick for her, which I get. Um, but I don't know. I feel like these are too thin. I don't know. There's kind of a bust for me. Um, uh -huh. I thought I would talk about them. If anyone's looking for a different kind of hoop, they're called tension hoops, and I got them on Amazon. So, but would uh, you say it's comparable to how tight a hoop would be? Oh, okay, because I can make a hoop pretty tight when you screw it in. Yeah, the mm -hmm. thing, like it's just it's it only it's only as tight as like the metal releases, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> so I don't know. Like maybe in our next giveaway, I'll toss these in because really, what am I going to do with them? It's probably better for people with like dexterity issues already that they're, can't do the screwing. Thin. So like I got like they're thin. Like there's nothing to hold on to. It's almost like you're stitching in hand, but you have a little oh. bit interesting. Okay. If you like not my thing either. I'm with you. It's not my thing. All right, um, we got some happy mail from our girl, Catherine Paper Crane. This was the most happy mail ever. Um, she, it arrived at my house. The box was really beat up. Came from another country. <laughs> <laughs> Customs. <laughs> um, but this was my box, okay? I'm gonna show mine too. Look at this. All Look at how much time she put into these. Um, she also sent us all a separate little, um, like pattern, which is adorable. Um, and inside was the most thoughtful, wonderful note from her. Um, mm -hmm. you know how I just mentioned how we talk to some people all the time. Like she's one of them. She's my girl. Like I consider her a very good friend of mine. And, um, and I love her. So this package was thoughtful. It was, there was stuff in there for my mom. There was stuff in there for the girls, like just such sweet and thoughtful things. And so I just wanted to say thank you, Catherine, from the bottom of my heart. Catherine, you're the best. For everybody, we love you. This was very, very much needed and appreciated. And I, have not even like unpacked and put everything away yet because I just I love like looking through the box. So thank you. Same, same here. Yeah. Okay, I went to this needle workshop today. It is called the Log House Needle Workshop, and we will link it below. Well, there's no link, but we will put the information <laughs> below. <laughs> Sue is the owner of this shop. And when Tiffany emailed us about it, she gave us fair warning. She was like, the shop is in her basement and she lives in a log cabin in farm country. And I was like, take me there. <laughs> and Jody was like, sure, send me there. And we were all like, let's hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> So I find her number, I like Google it. There's no website, there's no online presence whatsoever. So I find her number and her sweet husband answers. And, and she gets on the phone and I said, I'm calling about your shot. And she said, oh, I already got my shot. And I was like, no, no, no. <laughs> and right then and there, I was like, do I love you. <laughs> Added for a little bit. She said that she had watched a couple of our videos, not a lot. She doesn't do computers well. Um, but she was so excited and she'd been in business for 35 years and she was so thrilled to, to talk to me and she couldn't wait for me to come and she was just so excited. So I thought, you know what? 
get my ass out there. So I hopped in the car and it's, it's in, it's like a little bit above Newcastle. So if you're familiar at all with this part of the world, um, it's, you know, a close enough drive from Erie, I would say it's kind of near Grove city. It's right. You know, it's easy access. Like it's not hard to find or get to. Um, I did have to drive down a couple, you know, farm roads, but whatever, who cares? I get to her house and it is legit a log cabin. And she told me on the phone, like, just go under, you know, when you get there, go under like the porch and like down, there's like a door. And I was like, call my mom. I don't come back in an hour. <laughs> but let me tell you. The minute I walked in, it looks, it, it's, it's in her basement. Okay. But it is a needle workshop. Like it looks exactly like I would have expected a needle workshop to look like exactly. It is small, but it is mighty. Okay. That woman has so much stuff and she oh. placed the orders like on a regular basis. So we're not talking stuff like vintage patterns that nobody's buying. We're talking like she had shit for market. Okay. Oh my God. Yes. Wow. So much stuff. We chatted the entire time. I, when I left, I said we were both wearing masks and like she had just been vaccinated. So we, we felt very safe together. But I, when we left, I said, I have to give you a hug. Like I just, I have to put my arms around you because I, <laughs> I had the best morning. Oh. Um, she was so, she was, she was divine. She was absolutely amazing. Um, and I want everybody to know that she exists and that her shop exists because she doesn't advertise anymore. Those days are over. <laughs> COVID and everything, you know, there's, there's no newsletters or magazines or things that are going out anymore. So please go visit her. She does not do online ordering. However, if you need something or want something specific, she will order it and mail it to you. So don't be afraid to call her and talk about what she has. Um, she is so helpful. She is so knowledgeable about everything needlework. So she was amazing. Um, so I, I brought, you know, oh, and she only takes cash and checks. So, you know, that's a good note. She only takes mm -hmm. cash and checks, cash and checks. But here's the deal. Like, just stop and get cash. It's fine. Now, like, but what if somebody wants to place an order over the phone? Do you know? Uh, that's a good question. I think she'll probably have you mail her a check, to be honest. OK, that sounds right. So, yeah, like so. But you know what? We're not paying processing fees. She doesn't have to deal with any of that junk. So if that's how she wants to do it, then kudos to her. The pictures you mm -hmm. sent literally looked like a legit shop. I like it looked like a, like any normal. It is a legit needle workshop. All of crazy. her work is like displayed. She has a finisher that works with her. So like, she oh. has like stockings and pillows and mm. just. Ooh. I mean, the most amazing things to know. All in her shop are stuff that she's stitched beautiful ah. stitch. beautiful so anyways i bought um a bunch of gentle arts floss god they're so pretty they're all variegated it's hard to see but um that purple is so or, good or is that for a particular pattern or just colors you no, like i just kind of picked the colors that I liked. I figured I would do something, um, you know, monochromatic with them. Sure. On some fancy fabric. Um, so I bought a couple of patterns, which, um, you know, I, I have never heard of some of them or seen some of them. Some I had, obviously. Um, this one's from White Willow Stitching. It's a Witch's Cauldron. Oh, cool. Ooh. See, that would be cool, yeah. monochromatic really cool on some like bright purple fabric yeah totally so um or on like a lighter fabric with like a this purple floss because i mean it's stunning 
I'm like an orange with that purple floss. Oh, yeah. Um, all right, I got a Plum Street sampler, which is totally not my style, but this says yellow polka dot bequeenie, and it's wiener dogs in yellow polka dot <laughs> Oh my God, how cute is that? <laughs> I, had to, I, I had to buy it. I was like, oh, I love that. <laughs> Um, I got a spring ink circles pattern, which is, oh, ooh, I've never seen that one. A little bunny. So Love cute. Heart string sampler. Um, this is, you know how Kristen did her Valentine's bobs in her doble? Mm -hmm. E1. <gasps> Yay. Oh, I love it. And. So small and they're so cute. Um, oh, I love that. That would be cool if you just did them all on like one piece too, though. Oh yeah, I didn't think about that. Um, all right, and then I got um, doggies in the round. Um, Aaron, you're doing the cats, right? Yes. Okay. So they have a bunny one too. Did you know that? I did know that. I saw it. She did the bunny one and finished it in like a pie tin. Ooh. That's what that stitch life. They have that tea for you to finish it in like a pie tin, and then you can use it as a pin cushion. Yes, that's exactly what she did. And it's so cute. So I got the dog one. Yay, I love it. And then I got um, two Mill Hill ornament kits, which are totally also like, I wouldn't generally buy a Mill Hill, but these are ornaments and they're tiny. And you guys. They're full kits. Look at oh, that. Oh, that is beautiful. Now what so does the fabric look like? What? Oh, why? It's, it's, so it's full coverage. Yes, it's full okay. cover, and it comes with all the floss, the beads, and the paper. Cool. And then I got this one. Ooh, ooh, I like that That's one a awesome. lot. Yeah, and it comes. Those are cool. And I like that pattern. There's like one bead on this one. It's like the body of the spider. I love but that. Blues. That's going to be fun to stitch. Yeah, I've never stitched on perforated paper. So I've never done a mill hill. It's like doing plastic. Have you ever stitched on like a canvas? Yeah. It's yeah. like, I mean, it kind of hurts your hand a little, but I mean, the result is amazing. So it's like. It's small enough. Like these are tiny. I mean, like a normal mill hill kit, like she had all the regular mill hills. They're like at least double this size. Yeah. So, or, you know, this is small enough that, like, I'll probably actually do it. Um, Did she offer you to look at the fabrics and then you just laughed? <laughs> <laughs> she had, she had a lot of fabric. Um, she had some picture of this plus. Um, we talked a little bit about gingham fabric. I didn't see it. I didn't go through the fabric a ton. Um, a she had some really cool candy corn fabric that was like like oh. yellow and orange and in fact she had done like a skeleton pattern on it and then finished it in like a triangle super super, super. I love all of that <laughs> yeah yeah um and so and I told her I, listen I was so overwhelmed I was like we were chatting and like I was looking and like I would look on one rack and like something would catch my eye and I would like go look on another rack and then I'd be like, oh shit, like I was looking at something over there. So I was like, <laughs> she probably thought I was a total nutcase because I was like going back and forth and like, like I had already been at this shelf, but I was like going back there. I was all over the place. You know what we need to do? We need to do like whoever's comfortable going and we film it and make like a special video about it and show oh. that. Thing. Oh, that's a good idea. It's, it's well, I, I mean, it's fun to shop. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I said, I was like, listen, I'm like, I have to bring the girls here. Be ready for us because we are a bunch. And, <laughs> and like, I'll, I'll be back. Like, 
Listen, online shopping is so easy, right? You know, if you know what you want, you go online, you click and it's at your door. But there's just something magical about going into these places and touching everything and like perusing through everything. Like I would never go online looking for a Plum Street sampler, okay? Like, the only thing point to is like, when you go online, you know what you want. You know, I'm looking for this Lindy Stitches pattern and I want this one purchase. I went in mm -hmm. there with zero, A, zero expectations and B, not needing or wanting anything. Like mm -hmm. I just, did. I had no idea. And I ended up buying like all this stuff. Um, and like I said, I would never, go I would never know that I wanted this but like being able to like flip through and like I saw it and I was like I've seen the wiener dogs and the sweaters before but like the polka dot the queenie <laughs> Hello? like I need that <laughs> immediately so, that's that's my point is that there's something special about going into a place like that and if you don't know what you want and you're willing to, you know, drive a little bit. It was not bad. It was 45 minutes. I was, it, it was fabulous. Time yeah. alone, car. I mean, hello. Like, it was great. And That's I can't say about too. she was so fantastic. And I can't wait to go back and see her again. Like, even if I don't need anything, I'm going to go back and I'm going to see her. She's wonderful. She used to host, host Stitch Nights. At, in, in her shop, and she used to, like, bake and <gasps> have stitch Can we night. persuade her to do this again? Could <laughs> you die? Like, she... <laughs> yes. Yeah. Like, what? I mean, yeah. Yeah. So, could we please have one of those again, please? <laughs> yeah. So, she was great. I can't say enough, enough about her. I can't say enough about her store. Um... It's it's incredible. There's so much in there. There's so much in there. Um, and it was it was fantastic. I'm so excited that I found her. Thank you, Tiffany. Thank and you, thank Tiffany. You. And guys, if you're anywhere in this vicinity, like let us know. I'll meet you there. Like I will go. I will go right back. Um, or just go there. She has normal hours. Like you don't have to call ahead. Um, her hour, she's closed on Sundays and Mondays, but she's open the rest of the week, 11 to 5, and then on Wednesdays um, until 8 o'clock. That's so cool. It's so amazing. I, I, I want to go immediately. <laughs> that's, that's why. Okay. She didn't feel good, and I was like, I'll just go next time. And then I was like, no, I'm going. <laughs> For sure. Oh my gosh. That's awesome. So great. So we will put Sue's information, her phone number, and her email down below. Go check her out. She is uh, the owner of Log House Needle Workshop in Newcastle. Needle Workshop. Yes. Woo! Yes. I mean, it's so crazy to have one. Like 45 minutes is nothing. It's That's so funny how I feel like I've never lived in a place other than Michigan, we're 45 everywhere. It seems like 45 minutes is like a long drive in Michigan, at least in the Troy area. If you told somebody something was 45 minutes away, you were like, yeah, that's about right. But here everybody like freaks out about it. I'm like 45 minutes. It's nothing. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. Really, it that's was awesome. really good. Easy to get to. Um, yeah, it was great. I'm in. You have convinced me more than anything. So I'm down. Erica, that is a tough act to follow. <gasps> I know. I mean, we should just be thankful I wrote down some of the stuff that I wanted. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have no idea. <laughs> right? Okay. Um, I'll talk about another stitchy kindness thing. Um, let's see. Our friend Teresa sent us a package. Thank you, Teresa. Thanks, Teresa. So kind with a lovely handwritten note. It was very lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Um, let's see here. Ooh, I said 
at the beginning of the year that I wasn't going to buy any more project bags. We all know that I ruined that last week when I bought that one from Pokey Parlor, which, by the way, you guys are incredible. She, her name Pokey is Jane. Parlor. Sold out in a day. <laughs> I know. And every, like, I've been checking to see, like, is, how is Jane doing? Is she getting more things in her shop? And every time I see something, it is gone the next time I look. People are just like, oh my gosh, supporting small business is so cool. And I'm so excited. The prices your shop are made. so good too yes. for such a high quality product. Yes. So yay. That was amazing. But I didn't stop with just that one. I got another project bag from the 805 Stitcher. That's Tara. Uh, it, and it's so cute. Okay, look. Can you see this? Oh, it's a little bit gnome. I see the snails. And then the main part is gnomes. I and love it. That's adorable. Yes, and she makes a ne she makes needle minders to match the bags and include them. So here oh, is yay, the snail one. Snail. Which makes me so happy because we have some snails in our fish tanks. And as an aside, our one snail was named Marsha and she passed away recently which was sad because like poor Marsha 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 um <laughs> we got a new snail in that tank and her name is Jan and we <laughs> have yes Jody how do you know they're girls you don't you don't <laughs> I don't anyway Jan can go either way I don't know as much about Marsha but I think Jan can yeah. be yeah true our other so you have to pick names. androgynous names from now on. No, we have to pick more Brady Bunch names from now on. Our <laughs> other snail's name is Philip, and we decided his middle name was Greg, so that if we get another fit snail for that tank, he can be Peter. Um, anyway, <laughs> as an aside, I got this project bag from Tara from the 805. Now, that's another Peter. person who has good prices, plus you get the needle minder, and it's always high quality. So nicely made. Definitely check her out if you haven't yet. I have never been disappointed with a bag and she has great customer service. Like the zipper kind of like on one of my other bags that I got, like the zipper like fell off or something. And she was really quick to address that and fix it for me. Like not fix the bag, but like, you know, here have, take a discount off your next bag kind of thing. I'm so sorry oh, that happened. So She's nice. Yeah, she's really lovely and definitely check her out. And she sent me a sweet note in my bag, like a little thank you for shopping with me. And, you know, we, we've we uh, communicated on Instagram before. So, like, she's not she's not just like a faceless, nameless person. Like, she's someone that I've talked to. Um, let's see. What else do I have here? She's nice Can to work with for your birthday. I contacted her directly and I was like, Can you tell me if Erica has this bag? <laughs> right. She's so lovely. I actually think that my sister had her make some custom bags once where she mailed her fabric and then Tara made the bags and sent them back, which is so nice. That's like, so nice. Just pay her to do it and she does it. I mean, I don't know if she does it all the time, but it was really cool that she did that. I don't know um yes i think that might be it okay for me. we're good <laughs> okay i didn't make any purchases this week but um i want to again say thank you to Catherine. you know what's so special about the package oh first i want to show this one it look it's like a little vintage typewriter it's like a trinket thing oh that's love cute. it it's sitting in a place of honor on my desk and I think of her now every time I see it and I love it. But I think it's so special when somebody thinks of my child too. And she oh. said some things for Aria and I'm so, I mean, Aria was so pumped. She got these cute little glittery things and she got this tea that supposedly changes color. So I'm really excited to try that out. And I still have these. I'm going to give them to you guys, but she also gave us 2021 charms. And awesome. she said that, what she's doing is when she finishes a project, she's putting one on the back of it to remind her when she made it, which I thought was such a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so smart. And now we have all of these. So I'm like, yeah, great. Good plan. So thank awesome. you. Her and I had a really funny exchange today because I um, 
I was very lucky to get my COVID shot today. I got my vaccine and we were talking about it. And while we were talking, I have to use talk to text with the kids because it's faster. And she said something like, well, what kind was it? And I said, Pfizer. And then it just says, stop, 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 stop. <laughs> like 10 times after because it sent it because Ellie was like walking across the counter like that kid. Too much. But anyways, Catherine, I'm sorry that I gave you a heart attack when I sent you that, but thanks for chatting with me. The next one is a thank you to Michelle who sent us all of these really cool PA patterns. Yeah. They're they're older, you guys. So I'm going to have to spend some time. I wanted to show you the back of this is what the pattern looks like. So there's color and there's lots of good stuff in it, right? Well, when you open the pattern, I won't show it to you. There's no like distinguishing between colors on the pattern because it's that, oh, 1985, it says on here. So it's that old at this point. Um, <laughs> but this is how it's written. Do you see the like cursive handwriting? and description of like, this is how you know what color oh. to do. Oh boy. So it's gonna take some time. My goal is to convert this into a digital pattern so that it's more readable. Oh. So wish me yeah. luck. If I can do it, I will gladly spread the love with that one. I don't know how copyright, if anybody knows out there, by the way, how copyright laws work with doing something like that, I would love to know, like if I converted this to digital, so, you know, what's really funny, my neighbor, and I didn't mention this in hall because I literally just, I had it sitting next to me and I forgot, but my neighbor, her mom bought some patterns and patterns in Williamsburg, like, you know, eons ago. And she texted me and she's like, Hey, I know this isn't really your style, but could you <laughs> And this one uh, has card hands. What, how old is that one? Um, it doesn't I, say. I don't even know. It's the same way, right? Where it's just cursive. Yeah. Like, I mean, I, I'm thinking that was like the mid eighties, more style. And I'm sure it took so much longer to like stitch something. Cause you have to keep looking back to remind yourself, but. I oh. mean, there's no symbols. That's how this one is. Like there's but no symbols. Colors. There's so uh, you have to look at the back of it. That's how this is. There's colors listed. Like there's this whole spiel that just says, here are the colors you need. And then it's like for Pennsylvania, fill 334 backstitch with 311. Like it just says oh. that in cursive. So it's like a lot. <laughs> it's not. And the thing is, not everything, there's like half stitches, but it doesn't say it's a half stitch because it's just like colored in the block. Oh, yikes. It would, it would take some effort to convert this, which is why I ask about the copyright law, because it's a lot of effort to put in for something that like just I can use. I'm just curious mm -hmm. how that I don't know if I'm willing to put the effort in is essentially it, what I'm getting at. <laughs> what the dates are on those this one doesn't have a date either but I mean Christ <sighs> <laughs> oh yeah oh it's, dear. I feel like there's something to be said for these vintage patterns like I bet there's a huge market for it and I feel like yeah. especially in 1985 so what are we almost 40 years out from that sorry <laughs> <laughs> but it's creeping up no <laughs> So like when you get 40, 50 years out, like that's exciting to stitch something that's that old. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm closer to it than you are, so don't worry. 83. She's going to be 40 soon. I'm just basking in my 35-ness right now. I'm not just like. <laughs> You're like, like, let me be mid-30s for a second. Give me, give me that. Just wait. <laughs> Just wait. Um, so that's it. That's all I have for haul because my other haul was buying into Stitch Con. Oh, you guys got something in the mail. Remember? No, well, like I gave it to you from the mail. It's a hedgehog. Well, oh, I thought we were going to do that later. Are we going to do that now when we talk about, we want to talk about the, the stitch along? 
we can. Sure. Part of your haul, right. but whatever. So, um, just demolish our plans for this video. It's <laughs> fine. Hey, man, we're flexible. <laughs> so, you guys, let me tell you when we make these videos and it's right now like we just we think we're just hanging out talking to each other yeah we say things like you guys or whatever but really we're just talking to each other so we forget that other people watch this and we were contacted by lindy stitches i can't express yeah like i can't express the mind-blowingness of that like i idolize her and her amazing hair and her beautiful cat and so hair goals hair goals hair goals for sure so when she contacted us and said hey heard you guys are doing a stitch along with the hedgehog like well, how can i help we all were like what <laughs> so she sent us more of the patterns so we're going to all be stitching this beautiful hedgehog what's the name it says the name of it too doesn't it hedgehog uh, henrietta isn't that it henrietta yeah it's uh right henrietta above hedgehog head. Look how cute. I'm going to do it on some Jody purple. And I'm so excited. Look at how beautiful that purple is. That spot I picked. Woof. But this starts on April 4th, which is Easter Sunday. Um, we're all very, very excited about that. Stay tuned to the end. If you like this pattern, you might like the end of our video, especially wink, wink. But um, stay with us. We've got some cool stuff to talk about with Lindy because not only did she send stuff for us, but she sent stuff for you guys. So hang in there and we'll talk more about that. Now, who is this? Um, Erica, you have the details on the, like the hashtag and who this is with. Oh, yeah. Um, Stitching Jenny on Instagram. She has a floss tube channel. It's new. So if you want to search for her, she I think she just published her second video. She contacted me and was like, hey, do you want to sell this? I was like, yes let's do it so it's hashtag hedgehog house sal the pattern is called hedgehog house so easy to remember is there anything yeah. cuter than that hedgehog either i mean honestly it's so cute but she also sent us um some other patterns too and we we each grabbed this, a pattern out of the deal i'll show mine i don't know if you guys have yours available Oh, look how cute that, oh yeah, our mini. That's our mini. Yeah, yeah, and you yeah. guys, I'll stitch this up in less than a day and then this will be a giveaway very soon. And we'll have four of them. And then this was the one that I got and I'm obsessed with it. Three snows on a robin's tail, then spring. Look how cute, look at that Edna. Edna does brunch. Edna goes to brunch, I love that. I can't. Edna, a bunny with antlers and a backpack with <laughs> strawberries growing out of it. You guys, she's the best. I mean, her patterns are just, yeah, we already know I love her patterns because I've stitched many of her things. But her, that mistletoe loitering society one, so oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> so good. I love it's her. Whimsical. Awesome. But very well done. And if you order from her, she sends you. I know she always like signs her packages and she's just amazing. Yes, this is the one she sent to us. She signed the back. I love it. I love it. It's such a personal, like sweet tie. It's awesome. It makes you feel like you got something extra special, which it is. And I love that. So thank you, Lindy, for that. And then um, you guys are also going to benefit from all of that. So stay tuned. Okay, I think that's it for haul then, right? I, I know so. I have quite a few finishes, so let's move on to finishes. Jody, do you have any to show? Um, yeah, I do. So I have I have a stitching finish, and then I have like a little crafty finish. So needle minders was not something that I um, ever really had a lot of, and just recently I've collected like so many, and I love them. Like. Anytime I see a cool needle minder, like I just, I go crazy for them. Um, and I was like running out of places to put them and they were all like clumping together in a bag, like the magnets were all sticking together. So I had this magnet tape, which I don't know what I just did with it. Um, it's just, it looks like tape, but it's magnet, magnetic. Yeah. Tape. 
Um, and it doesn't stick very well, but I used, I'll probably have to end up gluing this, but look what I just did. Yo, oh, yeah, I love it. So I just took like a, you know, like a wooden thing and put the strips on. Now I know Kristen did something similar to this, but she's a lot smarter than I am. And she put a piece of <laughs> over it. So like you don't see the magnet tape, it's just a magnetic piece of wonderfulness. Oh, is that what she did? I love that. Well, you so, can still do that. Just take all of your magnets yeah, off. Yeah, I can. I just I literally just did this tonight, but I'm so excited because I can like display all of my needle miners. Look at these ones from Catherine. Can you die? I'm gonna have to steal that idea. I really like that. I like so. so good. So Where did you get that magnetic tape? Um, my mom gave it to me, but I think you can okay. probably. Sure. Um, it's just, it's made by 3M, I think. So just like normal tape brand. All right. So I had one finish at the retreat because I worked on a gazillion things, but I finally <laughs> finished my ink circles. You did. Yay. Oh, finally. So nice. So I love it. it. Not FFO, and obviously I'm not doing all of the motifs, but this was my plan from the beginning, and it's done. I'm so happy. <laughs> it looks great. I think I'm gonna give this to Kristen to make um like a log shaped pillow for me, some sort. Yeah. Great idea. That's good. So. That's fancy. Very happy that that's done. That was in my March Madness. I feel like two years, so it's <laughs> okay now. Those that's, are the best ones to put a check mark next to. Like that just feels so good. <laughs> totally. Okay, that's it for finishes. Yeah, that was awesome. Erica, do you have any? I know you do, which is crazy. Erica has finishes. Three. Three. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. So I have three finishes. These are all on my bracket for March Madness. I was really hoping to have a fourth today, but it did not happen. Point anyway, I finished the National Parks Birthday Club by the Frosted Pumpkin. I started this in September of 2016. Oh my god. <laughs> it is done. Can you, you did see it? it? Oh 2021. The year of <laughs> I feel so happy. I enjoyed this pattern, but I don't know why it took me so freaking long to stitch it. It's, it's just, big. it's big, but it's not even the biggest pattern of theirs that I have going. Like, I don't know why it took me that long. But it was voted for, so I did it, and I'm really happy that it's done. Love I it. also finished the other finalist, which was the Christmas Parade from Trellis and Time. Here it is. Nice. Look how cute that Very little exciting. Off is. <laughs> oh, I love him. He's adorable. Oh, and they have like the little fruit cake here. I like the little things in between the people and the things. And just, I'm holding this poorly. So cute. It's so like the Very colors cute. are so cheerful. It's very bright. I love all of their designs, of course. So the third finish I have is also Trellis in Time. And this is on, so the, the National Parks was on Picture This Plus fabric. I think it's 16 count. This was on a piece of Ada 14 count that I just found in my stash, whatever. And then this one is on some Jody fabric. I believe this is 18 count. It's Ho 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 by Trellis in oh, Time. So it's going to make a great ornament. I it's love super oh, tiny. God, that color. fabric. It looks, that I fabric love. makes those colors pop. Oh, I love it. Yes. Right? And I have more of this, and I have another one of her, their Christmas patterns with like a similar colorway. So I am, I think I'm going to do that for the other one. And they'll be like bright. Amazing. I'm super pumped. Of course, the none of those are FFO'd and will they ever be? I don't know. But they are finished. They're done. Three things Mark from it my in the book. <laughs> awesome. 
I am not trying to diminish anything. I also have three, but that's because I was really close on a few. Hey. But I don't, I have like that's one awesome. whip because I finished these. You know? So we'll show my March Madness finish. This was my winner. Then, ta-da, gobble, oh, gobble. I, uh, I love it. I love it so much. Thank you. I'm really happy with this one. And I think the blue is such a cool choice. And I think it's going to look amazing as a pillow. And so she's coming out. Did you decide you're going to do all of them as pillows? She's coming out with five more couples. What? I'm going to have to stitch them all. So think of all the pillows I'm going to have. Like, I'm going to have all these different <laughs> pillowcases. So every season, I'll have a different gobble couple out. That's so yeah. cool. Do you know what they are? Like, what I, seasons will be? Yeah. Are they all, like, seasonal? She hasn't said, you guys. I don't know. I don't know. Because you're right. They're not all seasonal. Because I know one is Bonnie and Clyde. And then. Oh, yeah. Are you going to stitch that one? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I probably. I feel like I should do all of them. <laughs> At this point, yeah. Woo. Yeah. Like, if I'm going to do, I have three going currently. So, at that point, <laughs> I mean, now I only, now I finished one. But we'll see. And then I'm going to have that a patriotic one. I don't know. I'm so yeah. excited to see what they are, though. And there's a gobble, hashtag gobble couple sale if you are stitching a gobble couple with us from RETM, who is amazingly talented. And I can't wait to see what else she comes out with. Okay, so my next one is my witch's hat of bats. Oh. <laughs> now up for grabs if any of you ladies want that pattern. So I'm going to show this part first. So remember I finished this a while ago. This is my candy corn of mystery by Bent Creek. So I took that bag and I put oh, it on the back. I love it so much. Thank you. I'm really happy with how that turned out. It's a bat fabric too. I love that, that you put them together on the bag. Thank you. I was like, I might as well, right? They're sim so similar in style that, like, you might as well keep it together. I'm very happy with that. I think that's such a cool pattern. I love it. I love that purple pumpkin's eyeballs. He's, like, side-eyeing the other pumpkin. <laughs> side <-eyed. laughs> I do that's like good. that. And they're great at... Um, Especially with uh, pearl cotton. I'm not great at my uh, French knots, but I do my best. This one's a little bit wonky, but I'm okay with still how it turned out. It's my fault that it turned out wonky. But it's my uh, my Easter bunny, and I put a couple of little, like, thingies on it. It's going to go to my, my mom's going to take this home. Oh, I love it, Erin. Thank you. There's some nice. Jody beautiful. It's Jody fabric and then Jody lace. Oh my gosh. So that'll go out to my mom's house. It's funny because my mom's always like, yeah, Brooke designed it, but she doesn't really say much about how I stitched it, but that's fine. <laughs> but my mom has also known Brooke since she was in kindergarten, so I get it. <laughs> <laughs> it's adorable and the pattern is so cute you guys I you know you see on the pattern the eggs but then you stitch them and it's like ooh, I just think they really turned out like she did I, a great job I love the little embellishments you put on the top too oh thank you it's because I did it I cut it wrong so I was like now I need more stuff <laughs> <laughs> Cover up the mistake. Just don't look at it very closely and it looks great. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be at my mom's house. Whatever. <laughs> this is awesome. But it's done. I'm so happy to say that that one is finished because I didn't know if I'd get that one done ever. So I'm happy to have that done. Now we get to move on to Jody's giant pile of whips. Let's oh, see what you want to do at this amazing weekend off this is what happens when you go to a retreat all right so <laughs> um this one was in my bracket also it lost but so i put it aside um oh, i've been working on it forever and i don't know why it's so simple it's just letters but uh anyways i got the probably done 
<laughs> you only have the theirs, right? Yeah, yeah. And then I do like so close. There's like a border on the top and the bottom, but it's very okay. small, so that'll take me no time at all. So hopefully I can get that, bust that out and get that done in a reasonable amount of time. Um, all right. Then I worked on my, um, this is the whiskey stitcher, um, or the, hang on, let me, on the rock stitchery. Sorry, I, I think she's got two names on Instagram, but this is my spinach pattern. So, um, and let me find the actual picture of it. So it is uh, a bunch of spinach and <laughs> it's, oh, that's right. I, I could be the person I thought I was going to be when I bought this spinach. <laughs> <laughs> so I started it one of my retreat starts and I got the bottom part of the spinach bunched in. <laughs> nice. Um, it looks great on that fabric. It does. That fabric's a really cool choice. It is. Um, it's very enjoyable to stitch. Um, it's big. It's really big. Um, and there's quite a few color changes, but it's fun to stitch and I'm having, I'm really liking it. Oh, good. Um, the other one that I started was a pattern that, okay, so I took like a million things to the retreat and then as we were in the car driving, I like bought another pattern, like a freaking idiot. Like I brought all this shit with me buying another pattern. Like we were driving and I was like <sighs> out perusing on Instagram. And of course, Wild Violet got me. So <laughs> bought, um, it's the little coffins. So there's oh, it's a scissors. A needle and like a thread picker. Jody, I'm so glad you bought those because every time I see them, I'm like, Jody would love to stitch these. They're they're awesome. So I yeah. got them on the way up there, and then it was like the very first thing that I worked on. Like I didn't even take my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I got how did you kit it up while you were there? What's that? How? Uh, well, I always had black floss with me. Always. I have three sure. tenons. Um, and then I just picked a piece of fabric that I had brought. And what I'm doing is the needle in silver diamond, the scissor mm -hmm. I'll do in gold diamond, and then the picker I'll do in bronze. So mm -hmm. I, mm -hmm. it's hard to see. Um, the needle is very shiny, but it's hard to see on this fabric right now on the camera. Um, I'm trying to get like a good, that might I'm be. I'm that you're doing them next to each other. I haven't seen it like that. That's awesome. Yeah. So I, um, I, I wasn't going to, I was just gonna, cause I do have little coffins that we got sent to us. Um, I think Sandra sent them actually. Too, yeah. uh, so I've been wanting to use them and I figured that these would be like the perfect thing to use them for. But the more that I looked at it, I was like, I kind of want them all together. And then maybe I'll do something, like I'll do a cool finish. I could still cut them up if I needed to. Yeah. But right yeah. now, face it out that they're going to be next to each other. Love it. So, so that. Nice. You got really far on it. Yeah, like I finished the first one the first like morning that we were there. And I'm actually surprised because when we got there, Kristen and I started drinking like vodka sodas. And I was like, I'm never going to be able to like stitch. We were like stitch maniacs. <laughs> uh, and then my last whip is my Barbara Anna Spring Deer. Oh, nice. Yes. This um, one of our gifted patterns from Cobweb Corner. And you guys. Oh, oh. Jody, look at it. Yes. Oh, everybody <laughs> should so go buy this good. pattern immediately. It's so beautiful. Can I tell you how fun this pattern is to stitch? Believe it. Oh, gosh. Awesome. It's so fun. I'm looking at some mistakes that I have on here, but it's cool. Uh -huh. It's all good. 
Um, but how cute is he? Oh my God, look at that face. Honestly. On that green, what a cool choice of fabric. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I wanted to do something a little bit different just so I didn't look exactly like the picture. But honestly, like I have his other ear, his, um, her, his, I don't know, flowers and antlers. And then the body's like not very big at all. So for a pattern, like when I looked at this, I was like, oh, that's going to take me a long time. <laughs> like taking no time at all. Like I did that. That was all maybe a day and a half. Are there antlers? Yeah, there's antlers. Okay. But there's antlers. So hit. Yeah, I love it. So I'm very pleased with this pattern. I love it. It's so fun to stitch. And I can't wait to keep going with it um, because I love it so much. And I have a really I have no idea. I so. love that one. <sighs> Amazing. Done. <laughs> oh my gosh, so many whips. That's so amazing. Many. <laughs> so Erica, many. what have you been stitching? Okay, well, as you know, I had my three finishes. So that's what I was mostly working on since last week's video. Um, I oh, yeah? also, this is the other one that I was hoping to have done for tonight. Also from the bracket, this is Hummingbird by La Selva Design. And it's on 28 Count Jody Lugana. But it's coming job. along. Uh, now, how much is left of that? There's not much left, right? No, there's um, like some greens and browns in the body and wings. And then there's a pink flower right here. But that's okay. pretty much it. Like, so I probably could have done it today, but. I have know. to know, how do you like the Lugana? I like it pretty well. It definitely takes more of my concentration. Like I thought about trying to stitch it while we were filming, but I was like, no, I won't be able to pay as much attention to it as I need to. Um, but it's nice. It looks beautiful. I really like the way it's turning out. So as somebody that only started stitching on Lugana's and linens a year ago, I will say that starts to change the more like probably like month eight month like eight nine months in you're like oh it's just the same I but feel speak, yeah I, I it honestly, takes a while for your brain to make the switch and then it's like okay you know what I'm saying yeah and I then you can stitch on anything it. that's the best part like I literally can just be like whatever I'll stitch on anything <laughs> I'm sort of nervous Three. to stitch something bigger on Lugana just because it's like that feels very daunting to me, but this is a very small pattern. So it, I think it's a good start. And then I, mm -hmm. I would try other small things before I did something like this. You know, that would be like, overwhelming. I'm still, I still feel that way. Like, I don't like to do huge stuff on Lugan. I'd rather do it on Ada, but also it's doable. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. I don't want people to be afraid of trying even weave. I think the way Erica did it is the right way because she started with a small pattern. So if you are thinking about trying an even weave or linen and you've never done it, that's the way to do it. Pick a small pattern that's easy to follow and then go for it. Like it's worth trying. Yeah, this is going to be great when it's done. I'm really excited to see it come together. Definitely. Uh, let's see. My other whip is something that I started tonight I wanted to work on something new so I started um it's called Chickie's Easter Wish it's a recent release from the Frosted Pumpkin it's one of their um hoop ones and it says it's gonna say happy Easter and there's gonna be a little chick here in an egg and the two little bunnies over here and like carrots and flowers and it will fit into a hoop I'm doing it on a piece of like polka dot Ada. Can you see that? Okay, yeah. I could see the polka dots and I thought maybe it was the screen. I love nope. that. So I see that fabric a lot and I always wonder what people stitch on it because, you know, can actually Catherine Papergrain um, sent me a picture of a pattern she's working on on polka dot fabric. And I like, I just, I love it. I think it, you know, if you pick the right pattern for it, I think it comes out really great. I think it's going to be very cute with this one because it's very like 
bright colors and I did make some changes. I don't know if you can see all these things. Ta-da! I'm gonna put in some etoile flosses, put them in there, mix it up a little bit. This is the one that I was <laughs> talking to Catherine. I'm like, I'm just gonna pick some colors. And even though that gives me a lot of anxiety to like not follow it exactly, I'm trying. So <laughs> switching it up a little bit. Because Living life dangerously. It's crazy. <laughs> crazy. So it's going pretty quickly. Of course, it won't be done by Easter, but it's real cute. And I'm excited I started it. Good. I love it. You guys all have some good whips. I only have one whip to show. It's the Caterpillar made to create. I'm going to show you what it's going to eventually look like. Can you guess which part is killing me? <laughs> Damn tape <laughs> Look how big it is. I mean, you guys, here's the thing about it though. It's beautiful. Once you stitch it, like I part, I stitched part of it and I love it. Oh yeah. Oh, whew. Wow. I'm so close. The that R was definitely the most work. It's big. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there'll be a C here, T and an E. And I'm looking at this picture and I'm realizing that there's stuff like hidden in there, the stuff that I've already stitched that I'll have to go back and do. So that's interesting oh. to me. She's definitely like the way she cut it is different, but I love it. I'm loving the way that this is turning out. This really? is the, main... the colors are so bright. I love it. I love it. I love so people have asked. So I'll say this is a skein of floss, which for the record, I did not visualize when I first saw it. I was very confused. Jody is the one that said that that's what this was, and she's correct. It looks way, be it looks way better stitched, stitched than it does part. So like it's just, you know, it's hard to like see what it's gonna be. Totally. And then the hoop, the way that she originally did it, it went into the paintbrush, but she made like a you could if you haven't seen the email, there's an email correction where you can make it to go down here. And I like that better. And then this is like a quilt look. So this is supposed to be a hoop. And then this is a paintbrush. And then the, I love it. I love the skein now that it's stitched. Yeah. I think that turned out. Oh, I wasn't sure about this pattern when I like it first came out. I was like, I don't know how I feel about it, but I think it's really nice. I really like it. The more I stitch it, the more I love it. And how cute will it be in this room? Like just to have the create in here. That's perfect. I'm very excited about that. So um, Sally actually contacted Kristen and I, and we're both going to be stitching the summer tree as well, which will be another sale coming up soon. So look out for that because we will have a, another code and discount to give you guys if you're interested in joining the sale, the summer tree sale. Now, is she releasing That's that awesome. as a tree cell, or is she releasing the whole thing like Hello Petal? No, I don't know why she did. I, I'm curious as to why she did Hello Petal like that, because this one's actually going to be a sale. Oh, nice. So, yeah. Cool. That's how she worded it to us, at least. So, as far as I know, it is going to be a sale, and we'll keep you posted as soon as we know more details. She's uh, sending that information out to us. So we're very excited and we love working with Sally. She's amazing. I have to, I, I would love to be like half as posh as she is. Like she's just so put together. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> right. I've been, I've been watching a lot of British stuff. Oh, because of the show that um, Taskmaster. <laughs> so now I feel like uh. I'm picking up some British slang. <laughs> I love it. She's the way so they talk is nice. She's so <laughs> posh. She's just like very put together. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know a good American word for that, but she's just like, I, I, I idolize her. She's awesome. Okay. So that's all I have. That's it for whips. Cause I had all those finishes. So I'm sorry. It's hard. Cause Thursdays I kind of take off now. Cause we do date night. Yeah. I'm busy. I'll get back at it. Okay, so we have some winners to talk about from last week. We had that, um, oh, I should pull up the front of it at the very least, right? Do yeah. either of you have that handy? Oh, I can probably get it handy. Probably not, right? Sorry, guys. Do, do, do. 
Tara here, if I look up here, she might have put a good one on here. Did she? The Tara Reed book. Yes, yes. The, a, a bitch in time, but I can't. Ah, I'm so sorry. Here, I'm trying to get the front, the cover of it. <laughs> I can't find it. Either. Oh, my God. You know, technology just does me in sometimes. Some days I'm so good with it. Hang on. Oh, I don't see it in our drive either. I have it. Um, okay. Do I have it? Are you just looking for like a uh, front cover? Just do you have that you that you can pull up? On Etsy. There we go. So on uh, Etsy, A Bitch go. in Time. You can get her book there. Um, I, I think we had a link. We, maybe we can put the link again for them to see that. So her Etsy page. She has a digital copy and a print copy that you can order. And there's 30 patterns in it. Like, so good. Ridiculous. So we have two winners. They get a PDF, the digital copy. But here's the thing, guys. When we give out a winner, you have a week to contact us and you need to send us your information. I still think we still have the stuff from last week. We never were contacted by those winners, right? So we might be re-giving those out the following week because we didn't get anybody. So mm -hmm. please, please, please email us when you hear your name. So Thanks. Becky Porter and Mindy Ever Yay. Everest, I want to say Everest. I don't want to say it wrong. E-V-E-R-E-S-T. Cool. E -E How would you say it? Everest. 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 Okay. Like the mountain. Mindy. I'll say Becky and Mindy. Yay. So Yay. Us. Send us an email with your information and we will pass that along to Tara, who will take care of it. And Tara went through and commented on people. She's awesome. Tara's the best. Oh my gosh. That was so, so cute. Please, please, please go check out that book. She wrote it with her brother, which as somebody that has brothers, I super appreciate and love that she did that. <laughs> she said, that if you read the foreword, it's something like uh, she had these funny sayings and her brother was like, do something with it, like make a pattern out of it. And so that's what they did. And I think that's awesome. So yes. we have giveaways for this week too. We have how many hedgehogs to give away? Three. We have three hedgehogs to give away. I think that's amazing. <laughs> so three of you, I'm hoping more people do, but at least three of you can join us for our sale. Sadly, it'll be, you know, next week before we release our winner and that's after the sale starts, but you can still join us. I'm sure people will still be stitching it. Please still join us. We would love that. So uh, Henrietta needs a home. So what should our, um, hmm, how about your, it's Easter this weekend and we're starting it on Easter. Maybe just your favorite candy this time of year. I like hearing those things. Tell me some sugar I should be buying. What's your favorite candy to get at the store this time of year? You, do, you don't have to celebrate Easter, but if you have a favorite candy, we all do. We all know Jody's. <laughs> <laughs> Can't live without those cashmere oh. eggs. So good. I like the um, the chocolate covered uh, bunnies from Russell Stover. I think Russell Stover's does them, but they're big. They're like this big, and they're chocolate covered bunnies, and they put me in a diabetic coma every time. But I love it. Fallen or is it hollow? Well, it's a uh, it's a marsh. Sorry, chocolate covered marshmallow. So there's marshmallow oh, in it. Oh yes. Mm. Mm hmm. And they've made them bigger. I remember I used to get them and they were like this and now they're like super size. <laughs> so I have to do them in like two doses, but they're still good. Bless you. Bless you. Thanks. <laughs> Erica, what's your favorite candy this time of year? Oh gosh. You know, I also like the like marshmallow, chocolate covered marshmallow things. We always get the like egg shaped ones. Do you get the egg shaped of them no no, no. Uh, but you know what my like historic favorite candy for like springtime easter things and i don't know if they still make them and if they do tell me where i can find them because i never know it is the sweet tarts in the shapes of bunnies and chicks have you did you have those? Those? I had those where are they tell me i can't find them. walgreens i get those every year oh. those are so good there's three flavors there's the grape the cherry yeah. and then yellow, right? Like a lemon. Yeah. 
Uh -huh. So good. And they're different than normal kit. sweet tart. Mm-hmm. Because they're like thick. Well. So that the shape of the animal is so good. We had them when we were kids. I loved it. So great. I have to look for them now. They they definitely still make those and very good choice because I enjoy those myself. Have you ever had those, Jody? Oh, only thing that I survive on now is <laughs> are you are you stocking up? And I still I yeah, and I still, you know, eat my body weight in gummy bears every day. So my diet now consists of gummies and chocolate eggs. It's <laughs> terrible sure i mean sounds delicious though do you guys have any plans this week stitching wise that you want to discuss besides starting the sale on sunday sounds yes, yes. i um fabric of the month club thank you mm. for to everybody that is participating um invoices went out today invoices were paid today like everybody is on the ball um, and everything is ready to go to be sent out. So I cannot wait for you guys to see all of your fabrics. I'm so excited. Um, and they will be going out early this month because they're all like ready to go. I, I was so excited about it. I like it's all dyed and already packaged up and in envelopes, and, like ready to go. <laughs> I'm so I'm excited. To see people like tagging you on Instagram and being like, this is on Jody Fabric. Like, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to just see people get it. And I'm trying really hard to like keep a detailed spreadsheet of like what people are getting so that I can like mix it up and make sure that you're not getting, you know, two of the same color or whatever. So I just, I hope it all like goes off without a hitch because it is, you know, when I first decided that I was going to do it, I was like, oh, how hard can it be? Like, I'm just going to dye a bunch of fabric and send it out. No. no. <laughs> like there's every count, every count, every type of fabric under the sun, the wait list, the spreadsheets, the addresses, the emails, my dad is with labels and oh my god it's it's a lot <laughs> my hope, because this month well, you know for being the first month of doing it and it's already like ready to go out my hope is that um if it is you know if it did go that smoothly then i can open up my list a little bit because the wait list is lengthy so if if this all kind of works out for the next couple of weeks and I can get caught up and really be on top of it, then I will open up um, a significant amount of spots because Boy. there's, you know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of people. So thank you for making this like the most amazing thing ever. I'm so excited. And all of my fabric for the Black Needle Society box is done. And I'm so excited. Oh about my God. God. Um, it's been, uh, I, I've just had a lot of really big projects, um, and I'm so grateful for that. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. As, um, OG members of the Jody Fabric of the Month Club, I will say you will not be disappointed. <laughs> nope. It is always amazing to get the fabric and I cannot wait to see other people get it now and share the love. I'm very excited. Congratulations. You deserve all of this. It is amazing. And I'm so proud of you. You're doing Thank awesome. You. Thank you very much. I'm excited. Oh, so great. All right. Uh, Erica, do you have any plans this week? Anything you want to talk about? Uh, let's see. I want to try to catch up on the Christmas wreath. Like put that to the side to finish up March Madness. Yeah, I would love to start the anyway. cozy. Yeah. I know the cozy cafe started a few days ago <laughs> and it's, Oh. so cute oh so, it's so cute, cute. Yes. so i really want to do that it looks really big <laughs> mm -hmm. it does it does look big <laughs> but hopefully i will spend you know the next seven years working on it so let's start, <laughs> let's start. Sure. and then i'm super See, you excited did that in five years which is pretty good I I, yes, I agree. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> it's also one of the smaller ones though. So 10 years for the others, I guess. Uh, sure. And then uh, the hedgehog 
sale this weekend. I'm really excited about it. I'm really excited. I almost started that today. I didn't realize it was this Sunday, and I am glad I waited. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh, that's really all. I'm working on this this Easter pattern still, so maybe I'll get a little bit more done on that before I move on to something else. We'll see. Awesome. What are yeah, you going to work finish. on? I'm just going to finish my Sally and then I don't know, I'm going to go through my whips. I want to just keep working on some whips, like touching my old whips and just finish some stuff before I start. Although I really want to start that Lindy Stitches, that Robin one, because it's very spring and I think I'm going to get it. What are you going to do, Jody? I don't know. I really want to start this, but I have so many whips. Like I just, I need to, I'd like to finish my wild violet skulls because they go so fast. So if I can get those out of the way and then maybe work on my deer a little bit. Um, I just looked at the name of this. It's called the Jackalopian Tapestry. Could you die? <laughs> it was so good. Like, I just, it, I love it. I love it. I'm very excited about that. Oh, that's another one I stitched of hers was that cat one. The zero days since last accident oh, thing. Okay. So oh, good. So, <laughs> so good. I love it. That's, she hits my style like perfectly. That's why I love her. Yeah, it's good. Well, awesome. Sounds like we have some great plans. And again, if you haven't checked out the video from yesterday, please, for my sake, go check it out and give it a like and a, and a nice comment and enjoy it. And we hope you guys have a wonderful week. I hope wonderful things happen to everybody this week. And I can't wait to see you beautiful ladies next week and Kristen back again. And I think that's all we have. So until then, take care guys. Bye. Bye.